2016 to 2022, Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon AC condenser replacement. Before you do this, take the car to the shop to have them evacuate the system and when you're done, take it back to them so they can refill it um, with the Freon. So um, this procedure works on um, the 2.5 liter and the 3.6 liter, um, it's the same one. Um, the only thing that will be different is if you have different trim level. Um, this one is a base model Colorado, so um, as you guys see here, I'm removing the front bumper and it's held by um, quite a few um, T15, 10 millimeter and um, it's 7 mil on each side of the bumper so um, I'm taking them off you need to take those both off T15 once again and 10 millimeter and on the wheel wheel liner it's held by T15 you don't have to remove all of them just the one that I just mentioned in the video and I'm removing those 3 7 mil for the bumper there is one of, there is one of, there is three of them on each side you need to remove all three so the bumper can be loose there is one further up I couldn't really show you guys but it's further up you, see, you guys see here the bumper is loose and there is two 10 millimeter that is um facing down I mean slightly down on top of um the plate black plate bracket license plate bracket sorry and um I got my bumper off and now I'm removing um the ba air baffle for um the active grill shutter it's held by uh, about six push pin you need to remove all of them you need to disengage those clip here at the bottom and it will be loose now let's remove the lower part of um, the baffle here it is it's loose now let's remove um, our active glow shutter first unplug the connector disengage on um, the wet clip and pull it push it down and pull it there it is now let's remove those 10 mil that, that uh, hold um, the active grill shutter and all around it and there are two clips you need to disengage them on top I'm using my tool here I have them in the comment section below by the way so I can disengage them it's loose and disconnect um, the, hood, the hood connector It's out. Put it on the side. And here is our condenser. Let's remove uh, our radiator support bracket. It is held by 10 millimeter. And take those push pin and remove those um, 10 millimeter that hold the condenser. And now let's remove our transmission cooler line. There is one on each side. The passenger side face outward the driver's side face toward the engine and i'm doing my um ac lines the 13 millimeter both of both of them you need to remove them and by the way make sure you have those new o-ring before you put it back together let's disengage that clip for the transmission cooler let's remove our bumper reinforcer it is 15 millimeter there is four of them Here it is. Our AC line is loose. We are gonna have to be a little bit creative to remove the transmission cooler. I would strongly advise you remove um, remove it from the, the old condenser using a 19 millimeter. And when you get the condenser out, that's when you remove um, the connector. So since the new condenser comes with new O-rings and it comes with new connector and um, and C clips. Our condensers out. Now we need to remove the what we did the bracket. Push it toward the engine a little bit, not too much, and take our condenser out. It's pretty easy. Just be careful on each side so you don't um, break anything with our new condenser. 
it was on the transmission cooler feeling you need to remove it there is a c clip that should hold it in place but that one was corroded i couldn't really do anything with it i broke it and use um a rag like this to twist it back and forth and remove it because there is a c clip i'm removing right now there it is you just have to be creative we go it back and forth until it comes out once you remove the c clip you need to remove the sickly first before you try to wiggle it. If not, it will be a dead end. I'm putting the condenser back in in uh, the transmission cooler. I'm putting our AC lines. Make sure you replace those O wings, those purple O wings. Make sure you replace them. And let's tie our AC line. There is a 13 millimeter. Condenser in place. Let's put um, our air baffle in our with the bracket. It's pretty much the reverse of removal. It's pretty easy. Um, let's put them back in. We're doing the lower baffle now. It's clipped to the radiator, by the way, at the bottom part. Our uh, bumper reinforcers and four 15 millimeter. Our active glass shoulders in. Let's clip it back in and tie all those 10 millimeter bolts. We, we plug in our hood latch connector let's plug our active grill shoulder there it is and put our push pin for the lower baffle now let's put our new o-wing for the AC line, you will need four of them in total. Make sure you have all four of them. If not, it will leak out. Here it is. Let's put everything back together. So that's it, guys. Um, the next part is to refill the AC, com AC system. It was the machine I was talking about that you will need. This machine is very expensive. I don't really expect DIY to have such equipment. Um, so I would uh, highly suggest you take the car to a shop to evacuate the system and refill it. That that Freon is very expensive, extremely expensive. It is not the old stuff. So um, highly suggest you take it to a shop to evacuate the system. In the case of that vehicle, it did not have anything, so we had to. Um, the customer had to buy Freon from from our shop. Thanks, guys.